Well, great opportunity for us here at Flames TV to catch up with, uh, well, current Calgary Flames member, a defenseman, Oliver Shillington, and uh, his good pal and uh, former National Hockey Leaguer, Johnny Oduya, who are doing some great work right now in Kenya, which is where we find you. I know you guys uh, made a quick stop over there and uh, just getting a look at the Instagram and the opportunity to see some of the pictures and video, uh, you know, looks uh, like a tremendous opportunity to be over there and connecting um, with some young hockey players, some other hockey players. Uh, what about for you guys? Uh, the opportunity where did it come from uh, maybe just give us a little background johnny i know it's uh, part of a new program that you're starting here uh in terms of high development and um you know maybe uh, for you guys what the opportunity has been like yeah it's been uh, thank you first uh for having us and uh yeah it's been really it's been really really cool uh so the background of this is uh i've been into sports performance and trying to start a performance brand, clothing apparel, basically. And uh, part of uh, what we're trying to do is uh, bring in some of my, my heritage. So my, uh, my dad's Kenyan, and uh, then um, obviously my mom's Swedish, so I have that mix. And then trying to bring um, some of that into, uh, into the brand, basically. So we're here doing a photo shoot and filming. And with that, we're, uh, you know, uh, we, we're trying to... We're trying to see the origins of, of hockey in a different way. And uh, even though it's kind, kind of weird that, you know, see people skating in Kenya, there's a hockey rink here, but most of the stuff we're doing now is, uh, uh, you know, filming street hockey, basically. And, and uh, it's quite fa fascinating seeing the passion and uh, the love for the sport in a quite unorthodox place, which is, uh, you know, a great thing. Uh, a lot of the kids that are here come from uh, uh, challenging conditions, if you would say the least, and uh, having this like community around hockey where they uh, they can find some uh, some other purpose and community, and you know, just play and develop together is really uh, really amazing. So it's uh, super fun. Oliver, how about for you to to go along and uh, you know maybe expectations versus reality? What were you kind of thinking as you go in, and then you know the passion that you've seen once you've been able to to take part in some games over there? Yeah, you know what? It's it's been a mind blowing experience uh, from from day one. I've I've seen stuff that I've that I've, that I've never thought of, and and uh, just seeing people coming from from. Um, surroundings where you see in movies see and in, in reading papers and, and meeting people that really cares about the sport meeting kids that really wants to play our sport um you you get a lot of perspective on things and and for me it's uh it's been amazing i mean i'm grateful that that uh, that johnny told me to come and i'm, I'm happy that i came obviously we were sure we were in the playoffs, but but when that opportunity was there, I I, I didn't hesitate. So uh, it's been a mind blowing experience, you know, just meeting kids, uh, seeing their love for the game, uh, them just caring and asking questions and just being there and actually seeing their skill. And it's surprisingly pretty good. I, I mean, I, I got surprised seeing them on rollerblades. Uh, I mean, doing stuff, stick handling, skating around. So. Uh, there's some kids that, that can play. So uh, it's been amazing. And, and being in the suburbs, seeing really where, where the struggle is. And uh, you get a lot of perspective on things when you, when you see stuff like that. You, you, you really value stuff you have and understand that, uh, that, uh, that you should uh, think, uh, think of those things you have and, and really have have in mind that people are suffering really and fighting for, for their lives to just eat. So uh, it's been amazing and, and uh, humbling for sure. Did you pick up a few new Flames fans over there, Shelly? You got the recruit? You know recruiting? what? Actually, a funny story. <laughs> so we were sitting uh, in our van today going to the mall and – no, we were going back from the mall. And, uh, yeah, we were just talking. And then Johnny from nowhere just says, Hey, guy with a flame shirt from nowhere. Guy walking like on the street with like an old like uh, uh, vintage flame shirt. Like no literally, way. like I was like, are you kidding me? Like <laughs> really? I tried to yell That's... at him, but like he was walking and we were passing him by. But we've seen like we've seen like that flame shirt. We've seen a guy with like an old uh, Red Wings hat. Like yeah, this uh, it, it's it's. I don't know if they know what they're wearing, but. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can see some, 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 uh, NHL symbols around 
around yeah. here and it's it's cool and i mean I, i'm not sure if they know anything about it that they're probably just happy having clothes some of them, some of them so um 